I would like to discuss the French crisis that's taking place with the um, French yellow vest in France right now. These heroic patriots are protesting the rule of President Macron. Uh, Macron is a Rothschild banker. He is trying to impose the austerity that is being imposed on the United States currently. And the French people, they are called the yellow vests. They receive that name because they wear yellow vests, similar to the construction vest that workers wear when they're work walking on the side of the road so they don't get hit by cars. And these patriots come from all walks of life. They are um, construction workers. They are, uh, you know, teachers. They are, um, you know, uh, office workers, truck drivers, whatever. And they are protesting their declining standard of living because Macron is a Rothschild banker. I don't know if you just saw it. There was a cop circling around. He kind of was scoping me, he walked around. I guess he heard, you know, listening to me a little bit. Anyway, um, so this Macron was, uh, is, a, is a Rothschild banker. And I don't know how he got elected, but apparently the global elites have decided to cut away the middleman. Middle they used to uh, have lobbyists who work for bankers in, in political office. Now they just put the bankers directly into office. And for those of you who are saying, what crazy conspiracy site did you get that uh, Macron is a Rothschild banker? Uh, just go to Wikipedia. It's on his resume. That's what he did before he became the president of the, United, uh, of the French Republic, or I guess former French Republic, just like the former United, United States Republic. And so he has the same agenda as the globalists. What he wants to do is he wants to eviscerate the middle class, funnel all their wealth, you know, uh, of, the, of, the, of the working class as well, funnel it up to the 1%. He wants a managerial class, you know, you want a 0.001% ruling elite, and then you have this managerial class, technocrats, corporate lawyers, corporatists, uh, surveillance state personnel, that will kind of run things. The rest of humanity will live like serfs, and should the ruling elite deem it necessary, they will, um, you know, they will uh, press the extermination button, and they were working on ways to wipe out large, large swaths of the population at any time, and I, that's a whole other video. But needless to say, they want that kind of power over you. Uh, but it's going to be a process. First, they want to totally uh, mentally weaken you, physically weaken you, make you sick, make you despondent. Uh, males, they want to emasculate you. And once you're so beaten down, should they deem necessary, they will exterminate you. Uh, that's probably their plan B. So what's happening in France. So this Macron, the French for, used to have a pretty good lifestyle. They used to get one month vacation per year. Uh, they had, their health care was paid for. Uh, they had quality life. They got to spend time with their, you know, children, their families, their friends, whatever. And they, you know, and they worked. It was a good, it was a good quality of life. But the globalists want to destroy the middle class. That is their objective. They want to impoverish the middle class. They want to create a global aristocracy and return to serfdom. In other words, a neo-feudal serfdom, where they are the aristocrats, feudal lords, what have you. And that's what this Macron is doing. And I'm going to get into, so this is some, this is some heavy shit. And uh, before I continue, I would just ask, though, that if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. So this dude is like, He's raising fuel prices. That's what the, the, these protests originally started. And he is, um, you know, uh, slowly bringing down the standard of living of the French middle class and the working class. Just, and you can see the same thing happening in the United States. Now, what's interesting is the headlines all read, oh, these yellow vests are torching cars, they're rioting. Uh, I would take that with a grain of salt. It's very common for uh, the police state to use agent provocateurs. This happens all the time. This has been documented. This has been filmed. This is undisputed. 
They will send agent provocateurs, oftentimes dressed like Antifa, they'll put on the black mask, whatever. They will break store windows, they will set cars on fire. And they have these guys on film taking off their Antifa or their black mask costumes and then going back into the police line. They do this all the time. So I, I have a hunch that this is a total, um, you know, agent provocateur scheme. Uh, and they want an excuse because they're arresting people in mass. And so they, they, the, it does two things when they do this agent provocateur technique. First, it's, it turns the public against the protesters because they're like, oh, look at these hooligans. They're breaking shit. They're causing mayhem. And the second thing it does is gives the police, the police state, an excuse to go in, bus heads, and arrest people. And so that's what's going down there. Uh, I wish that we in America could follow the lead of these French patriots who want their republic back, who do not want to be ruled by corporatist, globalist, Roths, child bankers like Macron, because that's who, that's who rules us in America. The Republic is over. That ended after 9-11, in case you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, Patriot Act, NDAA, etc. And to see these French heroes risk their safety, their security, to fight for their nation, I don't know about you, but uh, it is amazing. I am filled with awe. I am filled with admiration. Now, could that happen in the United States? <laughs> um, pretty tough. They've dumbed down the population pretty badly here. In America, what happens? You know, you have uh, everybody's on Facebook. Tweet, tweet, did it, it, did it, it. Oh, look, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, surveillance state. I'm, here's a picture of me. I'm, I'm eating a donut. Uh, oh, look, Mark Zuckerberg, surveillance state, Facebook. I'm, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm eating a cheeseburger. Oh, and now I'm eating a cheeseburger donut. Did it, did it, did it. And that's, you know, that's while they're doing this, while they're, this is where their focus, this is where their energy is being directed, while they've lost their Bill of Rights, their Republic, while they're being driven into poverty and financial nation, while they are being driven into a slave state. This is the mentality of the United States. Not everybody. Obviously, if you're listening to this, you are an awakened being. You are in the process of being awakened. But sadly, our, a lot of your fellow Americans, their consciousness has been atomized, it's been obliterated, it's been discombobulated through the Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, MSNBC, Fox, CNN, Dream Machine. And that's, you know, so for something like that to happen in the United States would be very difficult um, to get the, 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 the people have been, you know, you ask them about Kim Kardashian and that they know, some of them, uh, they know, maybe they know Trump's uh, the president because he's a celebrity, he was a reality TV star, uh, but they're checked out. And I, I know a lot of you are aware, you're on target, you are paying attention, your minds are alert, and I'm, you know, I'm not referring to you, but sadly, uh, they've done a number on the brains uh, of a lot of people in the United States. And what's going to happen is, these people who have their nose in Facebook, who are like in this fantasy world, uh, Kanye, Kim, whatever, they will wake up when the, the collapse happens, when there's an economic collapse. Uh, then they'll wake up, they'll say, hey, what's going on here? But the problem is the surveillance state will be so tight, it will be so strengthened, the drones with their uh, Hellfire missiles will be flying the skies of America, they will have domestic Gitmos, Guantanamo Bays, and they will be able to handle when the people start to come out of their stupor. Uh, but they have them pretty docile, I have to say. Uh, maybe something to do with the water in the United States. They've, they've tested the water here. Because a lot of people are on antidepressants, a lot of women you know, take birth control, there's a lot of estrogen and antidepressants in the water system. And that does not filter through the water purification treatment plants. So you get a lot of that. So maybe the combination, they, they have this cocktail of estrogen and uh, uh, antidepressants. Maybe it's made the American male particularly a little more docile here, controllable, manageable. Could be, yeah, you know, just a theory, don't know for sure. Uh, so the point is, you know, uh, amazing. I salute you, French patriots. God, you know, universe bless you, whatever your belief system. Uh, they are doing an amazing job. Uh, they are trying to restore their standard of living, uh, their dignity, 
their freedom. I only wish we in the, in the United States could follow their example. We could have their courage. And, um, you know, uh, those who believe in liberty, freedom, we are with you 10,000%, and we hope you prevail. And it, it will be very interesting to see what happens because uh, I, was, I was in Paris probably like 10 years ago, and it was a pretty heavy-duty police state even back then. I mean, you go in the subways, they'd have the, you know, they'd have the military guys with the machine guns. Uh, it's pretty tight. It's like New York City. Very tight uh, police presence. And, uh, you know, they could, they, they're, they're equipped to, cl to clamp down hard. And so I'm curious to see how, how this plays out because it could be a template for future events in the United States. This is the Democratic Socialist Libertarian. If you dig the message, please like, subscribe, share. Feel free to sound off in the comments section. For more information, go to demsolib.com. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, at Dems, Dem so Lib. Thanks for listening.